Hello, my name is Richard Burrow. I'm the founder of the Mastermind Alliance program. And today I'm going to talk about how you can increase productivity to such an extent that you can secure all your goals, achieve your vision, and so on and so forth. So if you want to increase productivity, revenue, and profits, or to decrease complexity, stress, and time spent working, we have just exactly what you need. A proven methodology to scale up your company. And many business owners are not getting what they want and deserve. We are against frustration, stagnation, and no growth situations. We have a framework and a proven five-step implementation methodology for ensuring that every one of your business improvement projects are delivered successfully on time and on budget. It's working for dozens of local business owners. We're here to show you how it works. Now, before you start making any improvements, you must make an assessment of where you stand now. Then you can decide what project outcomes you would like to have to make things better. To make a helpful assessment, you need accurate information and clarity about where you are at the moment. What's working? What are you happy with? What's not working? And so on. And making an assessment demands accurate data. We have an entire chalk talk on how to collect and utilize accurate data, but that's for another time. We're going to start off with something called clarity. You're going to talk about that a lot. This is where your motivation comes from. It's the source of your energy, your momentum, your desire to get going and to keep going and keep getting better. Clarity gives you all of this. Then we're going to talk about strategy. Strategy is artistry. You must figure out how to get what you want in the time frame you have set. This is the fun and creative part of business improvement. And this is where you may benefit from some outside help and input because there's no way you can possibly think of all the possibilities yourself. But your business owner peers can offer input, support, and encouragement. And then there's a relationship between vision and projects. Vision is the overall overarching notion of where you want to be. The big long-term picture of where you want your business to be in 12 months or three years or five years is overall and overarching. And projects are the steps you must take to get there, the stepping stones to get you there, the things you must accomplish to get you there to secure your vision. You got to do this, you got to do this, and you got to do this, and so on. And there's a never ending stream of projects. With all your projects delivered, you will secure your vision. Once you master the methodology of working with projects, then you'll find you have all that you need to achieve your vision and to be living with an improved and much better business. Again, successfully completed projects are the stepping stones to achieving your vision and making your vision a reality. Now, warning. The methodology you will learn about here will only work for you if you have a crystal clear vision. So we got to go back to that again and again and again. Here we go. This Chalk Talk is called the Foolproof Revenue Growth and Profit Building Methodology. How to never be frustrated or feel hopelessly stuck again. Never. That's done. Because there is a proven methodology that ensures revenue growth and profits. It's a set of proven best practices and principles to guide your every single move. It's about more money. It's about less work. Because the main thing in business is the money. Better business behavior. That's also a big part of this, essential part of this. Behavior, behavior. When the behavior is right, People give you money. When it's not, they don't. It's that simple. That simple. We have the framework and a proven five-step implementation methodology for ensuring that every one of your business improvement projects are delivered successfully, on time, and on budget. 
We'll go over each of the five steps in detail. It's a proven methodology. Here are the five steps. Clarify, strategize, focus, act, follow up. Clarify. What do you want to accomplish? Do you really, really, really want this? Okay. What? Why that? What will be made better if you get that? By when do you want that? You need to set some time parameters. Pick a date by when you want that. And clarify this. How will you know you have that? How can you tell? Strategize. Okay, you've clarified what you want, why you want it. Now we have to talk about how you're going to get it. How can you get that thing that you say you want? What's the plan? What are the steps within the plan? What's some of the new behavior you'll need to utilize? Focus. How can you first get and then stay focused on the steps you must take? Things you must do every day, every week, every month to secure those projects you have in mind. It's about resetting, realigning, and restarting. Doing this all the time. Answer this question every morning. If I am to be perfect today, what all must I do? Make a little piece of paper, write that down, then go do just that. And do it immediately. Do it, get it done. You can also say, if I am to be perfect this week or this month, what all must I do? Act. So what exactly will you do today, tomorrow, and next week? And follow up. How will you measure your progress? And then be able to revise strategy and start again. Follow up. Fortune is in the follow up. It is. There is no meaningful progress without follow up. Remember, giant leaps forward only occur when you consistently perf perform routine tasks well all the time. That's the source of your energy. That's desire and consistency. Got to remember that. But before you can do any of this stuff, there's something about which we must also become crystal clear. The keys to success. The keys to success. Here are eight must-haves. First, fire in the belly, passion. Now, we know you have that. Or you wouldn't be a small business owner if you didn't have that. You have that in spades. The ability to orchestrate events, all kinds of events, to pull things together, get them started, follow through to the end. Offerings people need or want and can afford. If you're selling things people can't afford or don't want, well, you can't have that. You've got to have things people want, need, and can afford. Vision, we come back to that again. Vision, 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 plus reasonable expectations. Strategies that work as intended. Constantly working on making the strategies work better as intended. The skill of persuasion and inspiration. You have to be able to persuade people and inspire people. Masterful money-making behavior. Yes, and enormous self-control and grit. Then there's the action magic maker. You improve your business results by initiating and successfully completing a never ending string, a never ending string of improvement projects, projects. A number of projects delivered successfully secures your vision. That's the three months to three to five years out big goal. You set a project goal. Your project should be intended to be give you more money, less work, or both, because that would truly be an improvement. A project of cleaning the office or changing the light bulbs is not going to help you secure more money or find le or work less. These projects should help you make more money or work less or both. Those are true improvements. Here are some examples or areas where you can build projects to improve cash flow. About marketing, 
to cut costs, to improve sales, sales discussions, to keep better records so you know where you are, to hire new people, to train the people you have better, to rebrand the company perhaps, that's also about marketing, to offer some new products and or services, and to take more time off. All those things are potential projects you could use. Now, suppose is a really, really great word. Suppose you got exactly what you want. How would you know? Again, what would be different? What would your environment look like when you got what you want? What new behaviors would you be routinely utilizing that you're not using now? What new capabilities might you have? You've learned how to do some things. How might your beliefs change? All these things you need to consider. And to do that, you can run scenarios. If we did this, these, we might get this, 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 and this as a consequence. But if we did this, we might get these consequences over here. And if we did this third thing over here, we might get these consequences. So run various scenarios and pick the one that seems better for you. That's the one to build the project around. All these questions, after what, what for, questions, who, how many, what, all this stuff is about building scenarios. The most powerful word for reaching your goal is ask. The more you do it, the more successful you be. Ask other people for their ideas. Ask other people for their input. Ask other people to be supportive, to hold you accountable. And then we come to change. Here's old change again, by golly. Time for change. Oh yeah, your life does not get better by chance. It gets better by change. Change is hard but necessary. Workplace change coming around, it's ahead. Change is difficult, not changing is fatal. You run scenarios, maybe not sure, possible, what shall I do till you find one you want to pursue, build a project around that scenario. To grow, you got to change. You must change in order to grow. You must understand change. Change is hard. If you don't believe my change is hard and difficult, try this. Interlock your fingers and your arms, stick your arms straight out in front of you, interlock your fingers. The thumb on your right hand or your left hand should be on top. Whatever it is, switch it. That probably doesn't feel good. You want to go back to how you had it at the beginning. Change is hard. People naturally resist change. But change you must. What you say to yourself determines what you do to yourself, that part of you. To do better, you must change you. You got to change you. Success in business is all about your behavior, the things you say, the things you do, the things you train and secure and support other people who say and do on your behalf. It's all about behavior. Want better results? Change your behavior. What about yourself will you change? What do you need to change as you go forward on these projects? Well, you need to change to secure that vision. How will that change be truly helpful? What would actually be better when you make that change? Describe what that better would look like, feel like, sound like. Okay, now. All that background brings you up to here. Time to devise a project that will make things better. Launch a project, figure out the how, how's it gonna, what's the strategy, then do ready, fire, aim. What? Ready, fire, aim? Isn't it ready, aim, fire? No, it's ready, fire, aim. Tom Peters wrote a great book years ago called In Search of Excellence, followed by another one called In Pursuit of Excellence. Became famous and rich for doing this stuff. He had an office around the corner from mine in Palo Alto when I lived in Palo Alto. Peter says, you can't wait to get it all right. You gotta start when you're almost not there quite yet. So ready, fire, aim. You fire, then you readjust. Do it, make it happen. Otherwise, you just sit around and wait forever, nothing will get done. The action magic maker is this. Decide quickly, act decisively, 
You ready? Fire, aim, readjust, then fire again. Observe, repeat, observe, repeat until you get it right. Remember, slowly beats never. Just start. Ready, fire, aim. And remember this too. Deliberate action is better than perfect. You'll get better at it. You'll get better at it, but start with deliberate action. Make things happen. Neil Young, one of my favorites. Better to burn out than to rest out. You got it. Do stuff. Do stuff. Do stuff. Use the foolproof methodology and go get what you want. If you have it all here, you can review it as many times as you want. Here are the five steps again. Clarify, strategize, focus, act, follow up. And know this. Warning. The methodology will only work if you have a crystal clear vision. Pick a project. What will your project be? We're done. Thanks for listening.